Town, Indianapolis, with draft analyst Ryan Wilson, Brady Quinn, and the aforementioned Nicobe yes, Dean. Uh, we're going to get to the highlights and where Ryan has you in just a second. But the stock Georgia question I have is, is you're back in Indy. You guys had the success. You got over the hump. What was it like to win the Natty and for you and your team? Yeah, it was great being able to bring that uh, to that school who have been waiting so long to the fans, to the, to the state of Georgia. It was just great to be able to do that. We talked to Devonte, your teammate. We talked to Jordan, your teammate. Uh, we talked to Trevon, and they all said the same thing. They said after the Alabama loss in the, in the SEC game, the very next day everyone understood what the plan was, right. and everyone was uh, on that path to what happened in the, in the championship game. But I want to talk to you about something else. You're a mechanical engineering major. I am. So I am. that in and of itself is impressive. Never mind that you're doing the football at such a high level. Uh, talk about like that journey. How did you get to into the – why are you doing engineering? Like what's your plan there? And actually explain to Tommy because I know. What mechanical engineering does? <laughs> well, you know, my mom pushed the education growing up hard. She pushed it. Um, it. It was never sports for her. It was never sports for my family. It was always education and, and how far they can take me. I always said my mind can take me farther than my legs can. So um, football and uh, sports just happened to be a thing that I was good at. It helped, helped me pay for college, basically. And uh, after she seen I was, was kind of good, she kind of hopped kinda on the train. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of she kind of hopped on the train. So um, and, and she said she told me she was like you you not finna uh, get college paid for the uh, to major in dog catching. Right, she liked that's right. Yeah. So, so I had to, so of course I picked a, a major like mechanical engineering. I wanted to be a. If, I go again today. I wanted to initially be a doctor like my father, but I didn't like chemistry. Gotcha. So I just stayed with uh, mechanical engineering. I love it. You got to feel really comfortable here, given your recent success. But as we were joking about before we came on, right. how many other Georgia Bulldogs are here with you right now? I assume you're rooming with one. I've seen you've, you've seen all the guys. You've been around each other exactly. this whole week. Yeah, we have. We have. Uh, it, 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 we got 14 guys here. I, I think, think that's what you said. Yeah. I, I yeah. think you're right. <laughs> yeah, I think we got 14 guys here. You know, we. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm not rooming one, but, you know, it's great. It's just a testament of what type of season we had, the type of players we got, the type of guys we got, uh, not just on the field, but uh, high care of the guys who, uh, who are going to take care of their business off the field also. Uh, the front four guys we talked to earlier today, they all said uh, the defensive linemen and the linebackers are a crew on and off the field. Like, you guys are brothers everywhere you go, and that had a lot to do with your success. Also having seven or eight first-round picks probably has something to do with it as well. But I want to talk about the way you play because you you play with such an intensity and a passion. And sometimes you see guys who are hard workers but don't have the athleticism, but you are sideline to sideline. You're uh, vertical forward and backwards. Um, I don't even know what the weak part of your game is. There's some question that you might be undersized, but that feels like the way the off-ball linebacker position is going. What is it that, that you think you do the best and maybe some of the things that maybe NFL teams are want, wanting to see you do better? Because I don't know what those would be. Right, so other, other than the, uh, the passion and the, uh, the energy and the effort I bring to the game, uh, I say my mindset, you know, uh, being a three-down backer, I can be that guy that can uh, control the defense and stay on the uh, stay on the uh, stay in the game the whole all three downs and be sideline to sideline. So I feel like that one of the, uh, that's one of the biggest attributes of my game. Yeah, Tron actually said. Tron Walker actually said that if we had questions about where we needed to be, we knew that Nakobe had the answers, and we would come to him yeah. on the side, and he would get us to the right positions to make those plays. Yeah, they, 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 I kind of pr I pride myself on that. You know, uh, Coach Schumann, a linebacker coach at um, Georgia, he said it's on us. You know, it's our defense, and we we took that uh, to be the, as a linebacker room. We took that to be the heartbeat of not only the defense but the team. You know, so. Um, we kind of took that and we took it seriously. So I, we took it upon ourselves to uh, learn everybody's spots and just know what everybody's supposed to do for it. If it was, we can be problem solvers on the field. Obviously playing the SEC, you go up against some of the top talent. We see a lot of those your other you know adversaries here at the Combine. Take me through some of the toughest players you went against, whether it's running backs, quarterbacks, maybe tight ends that you took on as well. Who are some of the guys that stood out to you were like, that was a battle, or I looked forward to that matchup? Oh, uh, man. Kentucky always had a, a great run game. You know, Chris I got Rodriguez, yeah. yeah heads out today. You know, they running backs in their O line. Um, but as far as like individual players, of course we had the gauntlet at Alabama. We had yeah. I, I, all three years I've been, I'd have played against a Heisman Trophy winner. It started with Burrow <laughs> and Devontae Smith, and yeah. then, you know Bryce Young. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't play to get some of the the best talent in college football. There's no doubt. No well, doubt you mentioned Bryce Young, and uh, he had a lot to do in that in that last game. You guys were getting after him. Uh, what was that like? Because it seemed like they had no answers, and again, they have a lot of first round picks as well on that offensive line. Right. 
Uh, we, we simplify the defense, actually. So uh, as complex as our defense may be, Running every coverage, we simplified it to the uh, simplified it and let us and let and let the line and the front and the back end just play, and uh, I feel like that that played in our in our favor. And Kobe, we're out of time, man. Appreciate you stopping by. Congratulations again, and best of luck. Yes, sir. Thank y'all for having me. And Kobe Dean joining us here Thank on you. CBS Sports HQ again, doing the medicals, the media, and then getting out to on the field like so many others. Our coverage continues all week long from Indianapolis. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.